Hey hello everyone, my name is Lana and welcome to Let's Play Tell Me Why. I don't really know much about this game, as usual, I just didn't want to spoil the whole story for myself, but as far as I know, it's uh, the narrative about siblings who revisit their past, and I guess they have some interesting connection between themselves and the secrets they are uncovering are maybe a bit unsettling and traumatic perhaps, so I'm hoping it's gonna be a really good story uh, with strong characters and very good dialogues, at least that's what I'm hoping for. So without any further ado, let's just start the game and I hope you will like it. Oh, I just the bright and still the middle logo is barely visible and the one left is not visible. Well, I am gonna do that. Okay, let's just don't go overboard, but... Okay, that's not visible and it's barely visible, so let's just do that like this. I know, I guess it depends on your uh, settings of your screens. Okay, that's barely visible. That's also barely visible. Let's start a new game. Story-based game that takes your choices into account to shape your relationship with other characters. Choose wisely. Interesting. I love this kind of games. So we start our journey in Alaska, March 1st, 2005. I guess it's too bright. I should have changed the settings, you know? You see these small grainy things like, I don't know, snow or something. I don't like hey, that. Kiddo. I need to ask you a few questions, okay? Okay, go ahead. If you need to. Someone's dead, I feel. Can you tell me what happened tonight? I... I went to show her my haircut. She had a gun. She... Take your time. She freaked out. Over a haircut? Come on. I... I... It's okay. No, it's not. It's not okay. My mom tried to kill me, so... So I stabbed her. I killed my mother. Damn! So, we're starting off strong. Like, out of the blue. Yeah, I killed my mother because she tried to shot me and kill me, so I just in self-defense had to stab her. And I'm just a child. Wow. That's... That's a bit unexpected. I didn't see that coming. But let's see how it goes. We have some room for a great storytelling here. Okay, so we are like about 10 years later, 2015. Still in Alaska, I believe. College? No, Miss University maybe? So I guess these are the main characters in the story, like the sister and brother, I believe.
So I guess he's coming back from college to his sister maybe. Gifts. House keys, okay, car keys. Chocolate snacks. Nice. Please give me water and sound. That's a cute guy who posted on the flower. I killed lots of my plants, unfortunately. Oh, I haven't got time to read what he written. House keys. So you don't have the house keys. You want your brother to move in with you, but you don't have a spare set of keys for him. That means suck. Okay, first, I'm gonna find the keys to the old house. Then, I'm gonna drive to Fireweed. Why would you freak out? freak out? Everything's fine. Okay, of course we are not starting with the uh, looking for the keys, but we're just gonna look at everything in the room. I need to bring this with me to Juno. There's something. Look. I have got to make solid plans to Night see the watch. Geminids. I wonder if Tyler would wanna go. Hey, you wanna freeze your ass off watching burning rocks fall through the sky? Yeah, I might need to work on that. That's it, okay. Anything here? Leave. I might just take a look at the other books. What was here? Introduction to US history, business, think big but slow, financial balance, so I guess some sort of college notebooks and textbooks, right? Bed, what about it? Oh, I'm looking under the bed. Oh, right. I can use them down here. In this box, okay. Not the most obvious way. What's that? <laughs> so that's where you've been hiding. This feels like another lifetime. I guess. Well, it's been ten years. Or so I'm told. From the introduction, at least. Okay, so we've got the keys. All right. Not yet. I think I'm ready to go. Uh -huh. No miss. One more season. What am I even going <laughs> to do with myself when it's over? Get invested no in the lives of real people? Real people suck. Oh. Ooh, I can't wait to force Tyler to watch this with me. He's oh, totally yes. going to Oh, yes. Let's just it. make our brother watch the film that you know he's going to hate it. It looks pretty bad, but... Okay. If that's how you roll, sure, why not? Probably not gonna see any stars uh, at this time. Not of day. with the blindfolds closed, you know. Skates. Pfft. I've Too been bad. practiced since high school. I'm probably super rusty. So it was that Mars. I could look at this artwork well, all day. Well, not very impressive if you ask me. Not the prettiest but she still of my keep creations. It. But she weirdly <laughs> looks like <laughs> that's me good in the morning. One. Okay. So, you're into galaxy, planets and stuff, I guess. Oh, there's something here. One day I'm gonna fill more of this in. Maybe when the house is sold, I'll book some okay. tickets. What about here? Time and I against any two. Can we take a look at that or read it or examine? <clears throat> look. Nope. Is he gonna like this? No, it's it kind of cheesy. Much? What? It's gonna be so crazy to see him after all these years. So, was he in some kind of like jail for killing? Michael and Tyler are so gonna hit it off. So I'm guessing Michael is the boyfriend, Tyler is the name of the brother that we're gonna pick up. That's Michael again, maybe. Polish chief brands ask council to reconsider budget. Dog strike to begin this uh, this week. Mayoral election. Can that Tom Vecchi supports gun control? Money for local schools. Sounds pretty cool. The shape of yesterday. Summertime sweet. I don't know these authors, unfortunately. I wonder if Tyler will even recognize me. I should probably check my email yes. one more time before I go. No, I've already done that three oh, times this morning. Oh, let's just check the email one more time. I should probably check oh, my so email you don't one to. more time before I go. No, I've already done that three you times this morning. Can just mark house keys that I've found? No. 
All right. I think I'm ready to go now. Yeah, I guess. I guess we've seen everything. No, there's still the rocket here. And some more books. What's that? I should probably get rid of this. I mean, I can stream it anytime I want. But it makes me happy yeah, just there's to there's some look nostalgia the in keeping this kind of thing still in physical material form. Okay, so I guess we have checked everything, so let's just leave the room, I guess. Open. But you didn't even take the keys and everything with you, right? So your name is Tyler. Dear Tyler. Uh, Allie. She's gonna be so awkward. Why all weird and formal? What's wrong with email? Well, I figured, hey boy, just want to give my hmm a uh, show something before I can't read it out. Everything, no, rewriting after being years of Sark, Fouye, July, Jui. Come on, oh, the handwriting is terrible. Um, the madness have taken once. And you still have something to read by candlelight, see? Always thinking ahead. Anyway, I can't believe you'll beat for soul in... F It'll be out fun and in few weeks. What? Amazing. I'm definitely going to be awkward when I see you. Please don't... Try not to be... Try not to... Notice, okay? How's your last month going? Are you sad about leaving your mates? I bet they're going to miss you. I got my something. She's been through a lot. Oh, come on, I can't read it. Love you, Allison. Okay, so the name of the girl is Allison. His name is Tyler. Can't believe I'm about to leave this room for the last time. Okay, I'm pretty much done here. I just need to Goblin. grab my goblin okay. and I'm off. The Dark Arc of Destiny. I don't know these bands. Do they even exist? Been listening to this on a loop lately. Man. The soundtrack to my angsty teen years. I'll leave it bombed I have to leave this behind. But the old house would probably collapse <laughs> if I blasted this inside. Come on, just a few CDs. Are you not taking your books? You're not taking your CDs. Firewood. And okay. he's going places. And I'll be able to say So Firewood Youth well. Center. So I guess he's the one who killed the mother, so he was sent to some kind of youth center. Just for well, like Juvenile delinquency. I'm not, I'm not sure if I can call it like that, but shit I gotta do to the ring. Help Paris with college admissions essay. Call Dr. Beck. Counseling sessions with Jeremy. Meet Aaron. Mm, finish paperwork for escape. And letter. Something for Allison. Have you got something for your sister? Man, I'm gonna miss that view. The transgenders men guide. Help masculinity. Songs of innocence. William Blake. Shallow from the flood. Well, I'm guessing that uh, so he's transgender, so that would explain why the uh, the shortcut was so shocking. So I guess he cut his hair because he identified as a man, so he wanted to show it to his mother, but she did not accept him, right? I wish I could have finished this before I left, but god. But maybe I'm jumping to conclusions. Maybe it's just book. I know most of these by heart at this point. Yeah, but the, the cutting hair makes sense. And there was the picture that he was putting in the backpack. It looks like uh, two girls, I would say, so... Bye, Herbert. Oh, I've hey, got the guy. same one. You're gonna be reunited with your sister soon. So each of you has the same guy, that's nice. Crafty goblins. Oh, cool. I guess I'm totally ready okay. to go now. You're not ready. Denali. I need to get my application Fishing. ready for next summer. Fire in the hole. You stay here. Educate the youngsters in classic cinema. What's there? What's in the box? Take me. This box of junk treasure is now yours by the first law of finders keepers. Cool. Oh, I can... Oh, I could have read them. I know the letter if I press Q, so it will be like in normal font. Testosterone. Okay, so he is transgender. Testosterone taking being taken each Tuesday. That makes sense. Okay. So 
so now I can read the letter, right? You know I'm part of this, but just want to say you've been the best counselor at risk yet redeemable youth. Haha, <laughs> good one. Thanks for putting it up with me and helping me in more ways than I know. I'll try to make it count outside Fireweed. Survivor's Rebellion. Thanks, man, Tyler. That's nice. Yeah, I guess it will be awkward if her his sister did not see him for years and his transition was like completely, you know, far away from her. She didn't see how he was changing. Oh, uh, gonna miss these dumb dumbs. Love you, Tyler. Later, Tyler. We'll miss you. Good luck. Nice. Okay, so... Oh, the transgender flag is here. So everything makes sense. Celebrate, educate, unite. Trans visibility march. Mm -hmm. Brought you by Gina Cole. Coalition for Equality. Okay, cool. So we've got that out of the way. Nothing in the closet. So I guess we are taking the bag and leaving. Or maybe he was not in like uh, in this council, school, I don't know, association. Maybe he was not there for his problems after killing the mother, but maybe he was there to help older lesser children, maybe older transgender children. I don't know. Like a counselor for troubled youth that is not accepted maybe in their homes. Oh, she threw it away. You should have thrown it away. I mean, you don't have to give it to him, but that's just a waste. Hi, Tyler. Hi. First time we see each other in 10 years, and it's hi, Tyler. Oh, sorry. I. It's fine, Allison. Hi is a good place to start. God, it's good to see you. <sighs> Likewise. Aww. You have anything else you need to get? Nope. This is it. My last ten years in a mm. bag. Then we should get going. We just have time to make the morning ferry. You look good in that. Thanks. One of my mentees designed it. It's really good. Yeah, he's so incredibly talented. I got a couple of local coffee shops to hang his art. Tyler Ronan, shaping the leaders of tomorrow. Yep, we're screwed. <laughs> so, are you gonna miss anything about this place? The people? How do I? Okay, scroll. Honestly, people. The other residents, my mentees, my counselor, Aaron. It took me a while to fit in, but once I did, it felt like home. They made me feel safe. Safe enough to be me. That's so great. I'm really happy for you. We planning to drive to Delos Crossing or push? You are welcome to walk. Nah, hmm. I'll take my chances. Need one last look or anything? Yeah, sure. Look, uh, let's I want go. to take a look if there's like anything else, you know, we can read about, check out, maybe collect something. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm guessing that he was in this residential center. Maybe he got there first, you know, a uh, trouble person who just killed his mother and did some therapy. And also being a transgender is something easy thing. And maybe with years he will... He felt so well himself that he could actually mentor other people. Yeah, that sounds great. No, really. I am 100% not creative enough to make that stuff up. Oh, and just last week, they had to turn the ferry around because a bear was on board. No way. Someone heard a commotion in the back of a delivery truck, so they opened it up. And there was the bear, fat and happy on a literal mountain of empty chip bags. <laughs> you go where the food is. Oh. I can relate to that. So then what happened? I'm not sure. I think they couldn't get him to leave, so they tranked him. Oh, poor buddy. Shot in the ass <laughs> just for getting the munchies. 
Yeah, well, you know what they say. Safety first in bear country. Yeah, but prevention is best. Common sense goes a long way in keeping them from getting shot. The bear is fine, Tyler. For now. You hear they've been talking about loosening up regulations on trophy hunting again? Higher bag limits, inhumane ground traps, even bringing back what hibernation hunting. hunting. You just hunt the bears who is sleeping. What kind of asshole gets off on Come killing on. a sleeping exactly. animal? Come on, exactly. I'm, I'm with you on this one, Tyler. I'm not against hunting, but predators play a vital role in the health of our natural parks. What? Why are you smiling? I'm being serious. Oh, I can tell, Ranger Tyler. Not yet, but at least I got the school part out of the way. <sighs> I can't believe you've got a bachelor's already. While I boast a half-completed certificate in accounting from an online college that may have stolen my credit card number. You'll figure out what you want. You have time. How are you feeling? Like I'm about to drive straight into a whiteout and my fog lights are dead. Don't worry, Tyler. It's gonna be fine. I'll take care of you. I'm just gonna push the right buttons for you in this game. And you'll do fine. I, I I like him already, you know. What about you, Allison? Well, zoned out there for a second. Sorry. What's up? I'm sorry. I'm just trying to wrap my head around the fact that you're right here, standing beside me, on our way to Delos. You don't have to apologize. It's a lot. Why did we take the ferry instead of the coast road? Because I didn't want to be stuck in the car with you for an extra two hours. Ha ha. <laughs> we have to take the ferry. It's the only way to reach Delos from Fireweed. I see. Well, good. I don't think my stomach could have taken two more hours hmm. of how you handle curves. I'm sorry. Do you want to take over driving when we dock? <laughs> no. You're going to have to get back behind that wheel at some point, you know. Look, I put a Fireweed van nose first in a ditch. Hey, at least you missed the porcupine. <laughs> I'm guessing things haven't changed much. You mean in Delos? Still the capital of East Jesus nowhere. Can't wait to get out of here. Was it really that bad? Pretty much. But it could definitely have been worse. Like if you'd been tucked away in a center for troubled youth? Right. At least you had Michael. Yeah. I don't think I'd have survived high school without him. Bet you're gonna miss him when you move to Juno. How's he doing? Good. Good, good. Uh, but I haven't seen him much outside of work lately. He's been busy with his dance and helping his clan organize a potlatch. What is a potlatch? Is that smoke coming out of Stonehouse? Guess someone finally bought that old shack. That or the ghosts are cozying up by the fire. Think the new owners hmm. know it's totally haunted? I'm sure Tina did her best to keep them from figuring it out. At least until the paperwork was signed. Ugh. That How house the always house? gave me the creeps. Those windows are like huge gawking eyes. Uh, you think people talk about our house this way? Maybe. Probably. Can I take a look at the other house? No. Can I reply? No. If so... We're really going back there, huh? To Stonehouse? I mean, we're going home. Oh, the mountains yeah. there are wonderful. Yeah, we are. Look at Think that. Think the house will sell? No interested buyers yet. Turns out, people don't line up to buy murder houses with no electricity. <laughs> at least it's got one hell of a view. Unlike Juno. Hey, Juno has mountain views aplenty. It just also has people and fun. Are you still thinking you might be my roomie? I'm thinking about it. Hey. Can I ask you a yeah, question? Yeah, sure. Shoot. I was told... Um, I mean, after you, well, graduated, I guess, and became a mentor three years ago, you still basically spent all your time at Fireweed, right? Pretty much. There were a few times I tried to go to these meetups for trans people in Juno, but something always came up. I probably should have put myself out there more, but it was better to be around in case the residents needed me. So you were free to come and go as you pleased? Yeah. Uh, why do you ask? 
Oh, nothing. Just being an overly invested sister. Curious how you spent your time. Oh my god, just look at the views. That's really wonderful. I'm wondering, did they do the mountains, like, rendered all of them, or just rendered the few ones that are closer and then just put the picture, yeah. No. Allison? Yeah? Spit it out. Okay, you need to promise not to freak out. You're transgender too. What's that? It's a gift. A ring? From Eddie. I know he's not your favorite person, but... I'm sorry, when you said Eddie, I thought you meant Chief Brown, as in the police officer who arrested me. Come on, Ty, don't- And your adopted father, the man who didn't let you visit me for seven years. The Fireweed Administration backed him up, Tyler. They thought it was best for both of us. Yeah, well, it wasn't. It's a peace offering. And you're the two most important people in my life. Please, for me. He can't buy my forgiveness with some cheap-ass trinket. It's a gift, Tyler. You know what gift-giving means in Clinket culture, and what it means to refuse one. Hmm. Okay, let's be mature about it. Let's just accept it, you know? Let's be the bigger man here. Fine. I'll take it, but I'm not going to wear it. Really? Really. Just so we're clear, this was for you, not Chief Brown. You know, you could call him Eddie, or even Uncle. <laughs> Hard pass. So I thought they were twins, but I guess it's like the stepfathers, so they have different fathers maybe? I'm not sure about this one yet, but well, we'll see how it uh, plays out later on. Did you hear that? Is it a whale? Oh, amazing. Whoa. No place like home. Yeah. I would love to visit a place like this, you know? See a humpback. Would it ruin the moment if I said I needed to call home? Uh, yes. Completely. Sorry. Go ahead and stop apologizing all the time. Okay, Apologize sorry. again. <laughs> Thanks. So where are the other people? We have at least two cars here, so I guess there's some other people who might be on the ferry. Hey, it's me. Yep. It's so weird being back on the bus. Let's just How are you? eavesdrop for a bit. He took the ring, so I'd say the first steps have been taken. Yeah, the drive took longer than I thought it would. We're on the ferry right now. Okay. Uh-huh, I know, I know. Any bears out there? Saboteur. That does not look good. What a waste of a good pun. Hi there. So you are the second passenger, right? On the cruise. Hi. Morning. Hello. Enjoying the ride? Love it. Let's just be nice. I don't think I could ever get tired of this. Agreed. Where are you headed? Uh, Delos Crossing. Same here. You from around here? Just visiting. Just in town for a few days. I see. Any relatives in the area? My sister. My sister. And she's moving soon. This a goodbye trip then? <laughs> Something like that. Yeah. I'm Alex, by the way. Alex Gershwin. No relation. <laughs> Charming. That's enough of a talk. Let's just check out the car. Headshot. Oh. Yikes. Hey, I heard that. Crime control. Headshot. So, are you into killing animals? Oh, I don't like you, Alex. 
Here's my sport check. My okay. Yikes. Oh. Oh. So I guess he's gonna become our arch nemesis, killing sleeping bears and so on, right? Isn't hunting season almost over? Almost. Want a draw for one of the last hunts of the season? Whoa! Look at that antique. You're not one of those odd six as old and boring. That's folks, just terrible. Are you? Wonder if there'll be time to hit the buzzard hole while I'm here. What's that now? Oh, uh, nothing. Okay, I guess I've seen enough. Let's talk to Alice and tell her that this guy is a freak. We don't want to be friends with him. Killing sleeping bears. Hey again. Fancy meeting you here. Hey. Didn't we used to swim off that dock? Wait, no. That was on the lake. Oh. Damn. I watched the cell footage you sent me, but seeing it for real is wild. Yeah. It was terrible. You could smell the smoke all the way over in Delos Crossing. Two years later, and they haven't cleaned it up at all? The company went under after, and surprise, no one else is eager to take it on. Someone died, right? Yeah. It was a crazy day. There's nothing like the open air. Hey, you send your application to Denali yet? Uh, not yet. I need way more experience. You're not applying to run the entire national park. They've got to have something entry level, right? Yeah, but I've done no internships, no volunteer work. They probably get hundreds of applicants, and I've got nothing to show. Come on, you don't know that. Doesn't hurt to try. Cannery still going strong, huh? Not sure what people would do around here if it weren't. Okay, so no more topics to speak about. Have you ever? I can see the harbor. We're almost there. Okay. Ecology matters. Yay. What's in there? Anything interesting? Oh, how do you call this thing? Uh, cable car, right? Cable car. That's awesome. I've ridden this like a couple of times when I was living in France and it always gave me the creeps, you know? The small car on the cable just hanging above the water or ocean or ah. Uh, and has actually you know, like the glass floor so you could look you know just below your feet that's pretty creepy seat belts Allison why would you fasten your seat belt safety first right Okay guys, so I think we're gonna stop right here. Thank you for watching the first episode. Um, personally, I feel really already invested in the story. There's lots of secrets hiding in here, so I hope discovering them will be a really fun and interesting experience. So, if you enjoyed this video, I hope to see you in the next one. Take care, bye bye.